Fire crews in California are gaining ground this morning on a giant wildfire at Yosemite National Park, but flames are still spreading fast. The Rim Fire, named for a nearby lookout point called the Rim of the World, has burned 290 square miles in 11 days. Just yesterday, the fire grew by another 40 square miles. It's moving through more territory inside Yosemite and continues to change direction. Manuel Bohorquez is in Tuolumne City, California. Manuel, good morning. Good morning, Anthony and Gail. There are two reasons the fire has reached deeper into Yosemite. One is it's burning in very dry and thick forest. The other is firefighters are still having to focus their efforts on protecting homes outside the park. New numbers reveal that already more than 100 structures have burned. More than 300 campsites in Yosemite are closed because of the smoke and flames of the Rim Fire. It's pushing into remote areas, leaving the main tourist attractions untouched for now. But the fire is erratic. When you get this heated mass, this plume that's developing, when it actually settles back down on the fire, what it does is it actually spreads the fire in different directions. Local resident Jasper Boyd shot these time-lapse videos looking toward Tuolumne City. On the left is Duckwall Peak. It's the view Samantha Smith had of the wildfire from her home. When did you know that you had to leave? We started seeing smoke plumes get closer and closer to the house, and then the back of the mountain, Duckwall Mountain, um, went up in flames. Smith doesn't know if her home is still standing. She fled last week after putting together a crib for the baby boy she's expecting. We just got it set up and he's only doing two months. So not knowing if I'll have his crib or any of the things that he needs is hard. Firefighters have been gaining ground in their battle to save these mountain communities and towns like Tuolumne City. It's kind of like a Norman Walkwell. If you go downtown, you see the park, and it's just so pleasant. And to see all that gone, I think people are really here to fight for this town. 4,500 homes are still threatened by the fast-moving flames. Also at risk, two groves of giant sequoias. These trees have been known to have survived ground fires in the past. But experts believe the rim fire may be too intense. So that's where the concern is here, is that this fire can come in high and hot and do a lot of damage to these trees. The fire has reached the reservoir that provides water to 2.6 million people in San Francisco. But officials say so far there are no signs of contamination from the ash. Air quality, however, is another story. The smoke has triggered health advisories here and more than 100 miles away in Nevada. Anthony and Gail. Manuel Bohorkas, thank you.